Hi, I'm Megan Powell from the S Expert Center. And today's video is a video that's probably most useful for those of you who are newer to playing in BBO real bridge games. Um, it's about how to make sure that your device is absolutely still awake when the game starts, or to put it another way, how to make sure your device does not go to sleep before the game starts. So let's get started. One of the problems that newer players in BBO encounter is the idea that just because they can see a BBO homepage on their screen five minutes, four minutes, two minutes, one minute before a BBO game starts does not mean that that device is still actually awake. Now, this is a big problem on iPads or on other kinds of tablets. It is less a problem on desktops and laptops, but it can be. It really depends on how your device is set up. So you've registered for a BBO game with your partner, and then you've logged off and you've gone to have your coffee and your breakfast, or you've gone to have your dinner. And then 15 minutes, 10 minutes, five minutes before the game start, you log back into BBO and you sit and you wait, right? But depending on how your device is configured, it is possible that your device will go to sleep, be completely kind of shut down in its background and still show you the BBO homepage. Again, this is most common on iPads, but we've seen it on laptops and desktops. So you have to consider how to make sure that when you log back into BBO, just before the game is going to start, that you have a way to make sure that your device does not ooh, go off to sleep. Because the minute it does, BBO will consider that you have logged out of BBO and that you are, don't intend to play in the game. And BBO will drop your partnership from the registration list, and you don't want that to happen. So there are several ways that players can ensure that BBO considers their device awake at game time. Now, one of those ways is to actually manage the sleep time within your device and its settings. And you would do that before you, you know, you could do that at any time. You make sure you do it before the game starts. Some people just do it permanently. And we'll talk about that in a second. You can also actively, while you, when you log back into BBO just before game time, you can actively choose different BBO functions every minute or so, about a minute apart, um, but only certain functions that you can't just touch anything in BBO. There are certain areas of BBO if you decide to venture into while you're waiting for the game to start. They are actually different partitioned areas of BBO and the registration area, the game area, will not consider any longer that you are in um, BBO and, and online. So you have to be careful which functions you touch. You also have a way to actually check your BBO registration while you're waiting or at any time after you have registered for a game to make sure that you are listed as an active registered, registered, registered participant for that game, all right? So I'm gonna talk about managing the sleep time in your actual device settings first. Let's talk about that first. And this is the one that's gonna provide you with the most likely positive outcome because it is an, um, a setup that you do and that you leave in place. But you have to consider whether you want to make these changes permanent or not when you make these adjustments to your device's setting. Because when you do set the sleep um, option in your device to something else, your device is not going to go to sleep for whatever length of time you've chosen. And if you decide you really choose never, never go to sleep, well, that's going to leave your device, especially like iPads, on shining forever. That's not a good thing for your iPad or your tablet. It's not good for your desktop monitor or your laptop monitor. So you might want, you might be leaving your device active for longer than you really want. So let's discuss how to think about this and what choices you can make. 
All right. So just let's talk about managing the actual settings inside of your device. And I'm going to start with the iPad because the iPad is the most problematic device when we play in BBO. So where let's talk about the sleep setting in your device. Where is the sleep setting in your device? I think most iPads, even the more the very the very most recent um, iterations of these iPads, I think that you should find this completely in within a uh, identification marked settings on your iPad screen and it looks like this usually right now so you would select settings and then within settings most ipads i don't think they've changed most of the language but i think you should find something that's marked display and brightness right that's where you're going to find your sleep setting i believe on most tablets i'm certainly on most ipads on most other tablets i think it's going to be something similar like android tablets um, but you're looking for something like display and brightness. All right. Now, when you go inside of display and brightness, you're going to see something on an iPad called auto lock. Auto lock is the feature. It doesn't say sleep. I would like it to say sleep. It doesn't. It says auto lock. Now, notice that mine currently is set for 10 minutes. That is what I have chosen as my happy medium. But you can set it for two minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, or never. You could tell it to never go to sleep. Mm, not sure that's a great idea. All right. The tricky part here is that you don't really want it to say never. Otherwise, your iPad screen will always be lit up. And that's not good for the machine. All right. You don't want it to stay lit. lit. So you want to rest that feature. So you might consider 15 minutes. All right. Um, if you put it on two minutes, you want to see what it's on now, because if it's on two minutes right now, the problem with that is you log back into BBO, you're ready to play in your game, you log back into BBO, and it's 10 minutes before game starts, you log into BBO and you walk away, you go get a refill on your coffee. Well, your device is going to go to sleep in two minutes, but it will very likely still show you a BBO screen. That is true on iPads. It is slightly less true on laptops it's even less true on desktops desktops will generally won't when you, when it goes to sleep it doesn't necessarily log you out of vbo but a, an ipad if it goes to sleep in its background may in fact still show you the bbo homepage. we see it over and over and over but in the background your device has gone to sleep you had a two minute setting if it goes to sleep, it is the same thing as saying to BBO, I have logged out and don't intend to play in this game. And when the game starts, boom, they're not going to come looking for you. Your device is telling them that you are offline, that you are no longer logged into this game. And BBO will drop you and your partner permanently from the registration of the game. The game will start without you. And your screen may still display BBO homepage. That's when we start getting phone calls. But I see it. I see them on BBO. Why am I not in the game? Because certain ways of setting up and configuring different devices will still show you the BBO screen. I don't know why. But in the background, your device has gone to sleep. And that's usually because your auto lock is something like two minutes or five minutes. And you've log been log logged into BBO for longer than that. So you have to manage this somehow. I choose 10 minutes or I choose 15 minutes. If you're going to log into BBO before game time and it's only going to be five minutes before game time, choose 10 minutes, right? If you know that you're logging in at 9.55 in the morning or 6.55 in the evening, then choose 10 minutes. That'll give you a cushion. If you tend to log into BBO at 6.50 in the evening or 9.50 in the morning, choose 15 minutes, all right? So, But you have to decide what you want to choose here. And then you can log into BBO within that time frame, and your device should stay awake. And then once you're actually pulled into a game, because you're bidding and you're playing, your device will stay awake. And even if you're dummy, you're not going to be dummy for, you know, as long as you set your auto lock to something like 15 minutes, your dummy is not, you're not going to take 15 minutes to play one board. You're going to be engaged. All right. So your device will stay awake simply because you're actively doing things. Now, my suggestion is that you go in, you change your auto lock to something like 15 minutes, if that makes sense to you. Or, or you could set it to never. The problem with setting it to never 
is then your machine will never go to sleep. You would never go to sleep. And that's not good for the machine. So you could set it to 15 minutes. You could set it to never. You log back into BBO 10 or five minutes before game time. Your device stays awake. Great. But then you might have to reset it after the game, especially if you've set it to never. You don't really want to leave it that way. So now this means you have to actively remember to do set it before the game, set it after the game. I don't know. I like to set it for 15 minutes and just leave it there. And that I'm not worried about. If you don't know what your sleep settings are on specifically your iPad, you absolutely could find yourself completely removed from a game when it starts. So you need to make sure that your sleep settings and your iPad mesh up with how, how much time before the game starts you actually log in. Make sure your sleep settings are a smidge longer than the time the amount of time you usually log back into BBO to wait for the game to start. Remember, you're going to be dumped from the game, both you and partner. So consider adjusting your sleep settings to avoid this problem. All right. Now, that's the iPad. And the iPad is notorious for being problematic here. You will see the BBO homepage, but it could very well be possible that you are logged out of BBO, in fact. Desktops and laptops... They're not quite as problematic, but you still don't want to set yourself up for failure. I would go ahead and set, change the sleep setting in your device as well, if it's a laptop or desktop. So how do you do that? You find the settings area on your desktop or laptop. It, it probably looks like when you find it, um, and, and you should you should be able to find it on a laptop, especially Mac laptops, by, look, by seeing a settings icon. On a, a desktop, a Windows-based desktop, you probably have to go um, into your computers. There's a place where you usually right click down in the left hand corner. You right click and you see a list of items. And one of those things is usually settings. Um, and so when you click on your settings, you might see something that looks a lot like this. Now, your wording might be a little different. Windows and Mac products might have a different layout, um, different order of options, but the general concepts are in fact the same. And what you're looking for is something marked either system, or you might even have something specifically marked display. Those are the two things you're looking for. I'm showing you my desktop and it's under this systems area. That's where my sleep area is. You might even see on different kinds of devices, desktops or laptops, you might even see the word sleep, but you're gonna certainly wanna read the smaller black print under everything. Maybe you'll see sleep there but you might see the word display. That's usually a heads up. Display on a desktop or laptop is usually where you find sleep, okay? So you find your usually system section or display section or sleep section. And on my desktop, my sleep area is under someplace called power and sleep. Again, it might be under display in your section. You're gonna have to click around and look to find specifically the word sleep, okay? You're going to have to look around. You may have to actually Google it on the internet, put in your device name and say, how do I sleep? How do I find sleep? And you should be able to find an answer or even a small YouTube video. But find sleep somewhere in your system or your display area. Now, when you click on power and sleep or sleep or whatever it is on your device, you can tell the system to stay awake again for a certain amount of time, just like on an iPad. My sleep function goes to sleep 25 minutes after I stop touching my keypad, my uh, keyboard, okay? My sleep is set for 25 minutes because, again, I, don't, I spend a lot of time on my desktop rather than my iPad. And so I don't want to be dumped from the game. I keep my device awake for 25 minutes after I've st stopped touching the keyboard or the mouse. The system is saying to itself, she's not doing anything, she's not doing anything, and it keeps saying it to itself for 25 minutes. Then it'll go to sleep. So notice, though, it says when plugged in. Okay, If I were not plugged in, if I were working on battery power, that 25 minutes is probably managed differently. It's, a, it's, le it's less than that to save power because it's not plugged in to save battery power. So again, plugging your device in, not iPads, but desktops and laptops are a good thing if you can while you're in BBO, seriously. 
So again, you're going to have to manage your own specific instructions, but you're looking for sleep, all right? You're specifically looking for sleep. So I've set mine on my desktop for 25 minutes so that it stays awake for 25 minutes after, you know, after I've stopped touching a mouse or a key keyboard. Um, and that's helpful. If I'm logging back into BBO, my device, my desktop will stay awake. I do this on my Mac laptop as well. I set it for a certain length of time because I want to make sure that when I do log back in, ready to start the game, that my device will stay awake for the, for the amount of time between my login again and the game start. And I usually log into games 10 to 15 minutes before they start. Eh, 10, 10, 5 to 10 minutes really for me. Okay. And so I make sure that my device is awake a little longer than that. I want a cushion. So we've done talked about iPads, we've talked about desktops or laptops. Managing the actual sleep time in your device settings ends up being a passive way to make sure BVO knows you're awake because you only have to do it this first time usually. And then you can just leave it alone unless you like to fiddle with it from over and over and over. That's up to you. But I leave mine set and I don't touch it anymore. And now I made sure that my device will be awake when I log back into BVO until the time the game starts. It's passive in that I do it once. I don't have to keep doing it over and over and over every time I play in a BBO game. But there are active things you could do if you didn't want to reset your device settings. There are some active things you could do after you've logged back into BBO, waiting for the game to start and the time the game actually starts. So what are those active things you might do? You could choose clicking with your finger or your mouse um, on specific BBO functions while you're waiting on the BBO home page. There are certain functions that you could tap every, I'm going to call it minute or so. There are certain functions you should not touch, but there are certain functions you can touch without the, the system going, oh, she's not here anymore. Um, but you're going to have to actively do that every minute. If, if you're worried about your machine going to sleep, if you have your sleep settings at a low number, like two minutes, you're going to have to actively engage your device every minute or so to keep it awake. Another thing you could do is to go and check your registration for the game. There's a way you can do that, that, that will show you whether you're still registered or not, uh, and will still keep you active simply by that function. So let's look at each of these. Suppose you wanted to actively keep your device awake. Well, the one thing I think you can do that takes very little, it doesn't take you away from the BBO homepage. It keeps you in the same spot, but it still engages your device. On every device, you can do this. You can do this on iPads. You can do it on desktops. You can do it on lap laptops. But before I say what you can do, let me say what you should not do at all. Do not go into solitaire or the casual area in BBO. They are in a different partition of BBO. And the minute you leave the registration, after you've registered for a game, the minute you leave the BBO homepage to go into solitaire or casual, it will signal BBO that you have dropped out of the game. Now, at game time, if you're still in solitaire or casual, you will read as offline. And the director of the game will simply drop you and partner from game. So don't go into solitaire or casual. Instead, there are other areas specifically on your BBO homepage that I'm going to most strongly recommend. And then I'm going to recommend one thing you can do that does leave the BBO homepage, but still keeps you in the registration zone. So let's talk about the areas on your BBO homepage you can engage. When you're in on the BBO homepage, you have four tabs on your screen. Message, people, history, account. On the desktop or laptop, if that's what you're using, you will see these tabs on the right-hand side of your screen, just like this. They're over here. If you were on an iPad, you would see them on the bottom of your iPad screen. Okay, They're the same things, though. This is where you can go into different areas on your homepage and check different things out. So you can, check, you can click on any one of these four tabs, and your device will engage. All right? Click on the People tab. You'll see who all your friends are. Click on the Account tab, and it will show you your profile settings. Um, click, click on the Message tab. If somebody sent you a message in BBO, you'll see it. 
click on the history tab, you'll see any previous the listing of any previous games you've played in recently. So you can click on any of those four tabs and your device will engage. It will just shift the right hand side of your screen to those sub areas without leaving the BBO homepage. You will still see on most of your screen, the regular BBO homepage, but it will engage your device. And if you do this every minute or so, change from one to the other, your device will stay awake. Now this could be a little tedious, couldn't it? You have to remember every minute to do it. You have to be very active in this, but it is a solution to stopping your device from going to sleep, but you have to really stay on top of it, especially specifically because your actual sleep settings might be a small number. Maybe you have your sleep setting on two minutes. You could be in big trouble if you don't actively keep the device awake, all right? So that's one thing you could do to be active. Here's another thing you can do to actively keep your device awake, and that is check on your registration status. So the last way I would suggest that you could do this is to keep your device awake is to actually go and make sure you're still registered in the game. And you could do this, I would say, about two minutes before the game starts just to make absolutely sure. How do you do this? You are going to leave the BBO homepage, but you're not leaving the registration zone, so you're still fine. The system will still consider you active. But how you do this is that you're going to go back into the registration area the way that you and your partner perhaps did it earlier. So you click on the word competitive. And then on the next screen, you choose all tournaments. And because you're playing in one of our alliance BBO games, remember you go up top and you type the word alliance on the search line. That will narrow all the games to just the alliance games, our online bridge club. You should see one of those listings in a different color. It should be the game in theory that you <laughs> registered for. And often that different color is yellow. It depends on your device. It depends on other settings in the background of your device. On all of my devices, when I go check my registration, the line on which my game resides is now yellow. When it's yellow, it tells you that you are registered in that game. And you can just sit there. You can just wait on that BBO homepage. The other thing you could do is you could hit that search button up top again, make sure Alliance is still in there, or honestly, you could put anything in there because you're still in the registration zone. Hit search again, let it re just reload. That's all that it's doing is refreshing the page. So you can do this about two minutes before game time. It's perfectly okay to do this even though you don't see the BBO homepage anymore. You are still in the registration section of BBO. You're still in the place where the game is looking for you. All right, and you can just sit here and wait for the game to begin. And one last thing is this. If, as you're tooling around trying to keep your device awake, you by mistake exit out of BBO, you log out of BBO, and that happens, you hit the back button too many times. Please, quickly, as quickly as you can, log back into BBO. Get back into BBO. So the system registers you as awake again, all right? So there are several ways that you can make sure your device is awake at game time, and it matters. It matters, especially on iPads. Um, and you're gonna want to, whether you're gonna change your device settings uh, anyway or not, you should see what they are. You should go into your device settings and see what your sleep setting currently is. That's knowledge is power, right? So to make sure your device is awake at game time, you could actually go into your device settings, change your sleep time to be something that you think is realistic uh, as you're waiting after you've logged into BBO to keep your device awake. Or you could just, as you're waiting for the game to start, click the history, the message, the people, the account tabs on your screen just to make sure you engage in your uh, on your device. Or you can go to the registration area and just make sure that you have a different colored registration line for your game. All right. So this, I'm hoping, will stop some of the problems we have, especially with newer players in BBO. When the game starts, we get frantic phone calls saying, I I'm not in the game. I'm not in the game. The game should have started. I'm not in the game. No, you're not. And there's no way I can put you in the game after it starts. That's why these things are so important. Once the game has started without you, you're not playing in that game, I'm sorry. It's not like Shark, and it's not like being with me in one of our lab games. I can't just drop you in the game. It doesn't work that way in real BBO games. So 
If you have questions about this or you're not sure about your sleep settings, if you're struggling to find your sleep settings, give me a holler. Let me see if we can work together and we'll find what you need, okay? But any other questions, just ask. Bye now.